Hi there, in this diagram short, we're going to be looking at the revenue curves for firms in perfectly competitive markets. Perfect competition, of course, is a market with many suppliers, none of whom has any control over the market price. They're selling homogenous products and there are no entry barriers into or out of the market. The key to perfect competition is that the market supply and demand sets the price. So, for example, in our diagram here, the market price is established at £3. Each firm is a price taker. They have no control over the price. So what does the total revenue curve look like? Well, it's just going to be a linear function of price. If the price is £3, if we sell 5 units, the total revenue will be 15 If we double our sales to 10 the total revenue doubles to 30 And if we increase our output to 15 total revenue rises to 45 Total revenue will be a linear function of the price prevailing in the market. Of course, that price can change. Let's take, for example, an increase in the price to £4. A rise in the market price causes an increase in the gradient of the total revenue curve from TR1 to TR2. Let's go through that again. Increase in the price in the market causes an upward pivot in the total revenue curve. And, of course, price can also go down. Price goes down to two pounds. Total revenue curve will shift from TR one to TR three. The gradient of the total revenue curve decreases. So we need to make a distinction between the price taking firms we find in perfect competition, where the average and the marginal revenue are the same. They accept the prevailing market price, and any imperfectly competitive market, including monopoly, oligopoly, where in fact firms have some price setting power because they face a downward sloping demand curve. That's revenue curves in perfectly competitive markets.